All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. We're going to go back to the phone lines, and we're going to go out to Kevin in Braddock this time. Kevin, how you doing? Thanks for calling. Hey, how you guys doing? Thanks. Hey, I got a quick question for you, Richie. You know, growing up around here, you know, defense wins championships. I ain't going to lie. I'm a little nervous about Sunday. I mean, you can take out Bortles all you want, but I, I think we're focused on New England too much, and not really we're focused on the Jacks. Yeah, you know what, Kevin, you bring up a good point. And, Paul, we hear that defense wins championships all the time. But I would rather have a great offense than the Jacksonville defense. Well, first of all, I mean, by the way people have talked, by the end of the, are, they, are the Steelers playing the 86 Bears? I mean, they got Mike oh, Singletary man. in the middle. I mean, what is ben Roethlisberger didn't what, call it. I mean, what are we doing? He didn't what call it one of the best defenses he's ever faced. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm sure, Ben. I mean, come on. This, I mean, they're a good defense. They're really good. But the rules favor offense nowadays. That thing about defense winning championships, you've got to be able to play some level. What was defense. the last good defense that won a championship? Well, I, mean, they, they, I mean, the Ravens? There's we been, have to go back well, that what far? I'm saying, what I'm saying is ev- probably every team, the Broncos, probably every team that has won a championship has some level of good defense. Yeah. But this isn't like you know, the old days where you better be able to stop teams and everything else. Nowadays, offenses can score. So you better have a good quarterback. That's number one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, now, the Broncos team you just pointed out, okay, there's a good example. But they, you know, but they had Peyton Manning, who even with a bad neck, and a you know smart quarterback duct tape yeah. holding them together is still better than Bla- uh, Blake Bortles because he you know early in the game she could still throw until his arm you know would turn yeah. to jello and uh, they'd throw and get a lead and then he couldn't throw it anymore but it didn't matter they had a lead and um, that defense was, that defense is better than this defense I think and Bortles is by far the worst quarterback in the postseason right now. I mean, well, Mariota was the only one that would give him a actually, run for his Nick, money. Nick Foles. I Nick Foles, okay. I mean, you know, but, he's, st- but he's a backup. Yeah. I, would, I still might rather have him over Bortles. Mm, I, I don't know. Both, I think they're both stick. All right, let's go out to Mort real quick. Out in Brentwood. How you doing, Mort? Hey, I'm doing good, fellas. Thanks uh, for calling. Paul, very heroic of you getting into work. I know. I commend him. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, uh, you were talking about playoff X factors earlier, and that's what I wanted to touch on. I think – um, th- there's going to be a two-fold thing here. I think uh, Todd Haley's going to have to be an X factor. Uh, in the playoffs, oftentimes crazy things happen. And I think uh, Todd Haley is going to have to do a good job again. Uh, we have to go to break real quick. What do you think? I mean, Todd Haley, yeah, they need to come up with a good offensive game plan. It'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, they know what to do. I, I mean, I th- look, there's no secrets out at ben, this time of yeah. I think Juju's going to have a big game. That's my guy, I think. The two tight ends, watch them down the middle. Yeah, it's good. Another good one. All right, we're going to take a break. Back to wrap things up. Coming up next, stay right there.